Okay, so I want to talk about this concept of the minimal baseline because I think this can be really helpful. So first of all, let me reemphasize that you can totally take exercise off the table if you need to when you are first trying to lose weight, right? Exercise does not equal weight loss. I put a great little video in the module that talks about the science behind this. And I know that that's hard for a lot of us to get our head around because we've always associated you know, weight loss with exercise. We've got to work out if we want to lose weight. And that's really not the case. So it's nice to be able to remove it from the equation for a little bit if, if it's overwhelming to us um, and just really focus in on the diet piece because that's really where, you know, we're going to see the results. We got to get that diet part dialed in. We're going to work on the over hunger, the over desire, you know, eating more of the right types of foods to um, help with those hormone levels. But obviously exercise is important for other reasons. It's, it's you know, obviously got amazing health benefits. Um, it can help with changing body composition. So if you're wanting to feel more toned, um, if you're wanting to feel stronger, you know, it can help with bone density. It can help actually make our body more sensitive to the hormones, which can help long-term with weight loss. So we do want to implement it in, but a lot of times what we do when we start to um, implement in a workout program we, we really go pretty hardcore with it, right? And a lot of times that makes it hard to stick with it. So I almost want you to reverse it. And what the minimal baseline is saying is, what is the bare minimum that you wanna to commit to each week in terms of exercise? And if we're not worried about burning calories and we're seeing exercise more as something that we're doing for ourselves because it's fun and it's therapeutic and it's just something that we want to identify as, like we wanna identify as somebody that exercises, then we can really set that minimal baseline to a much more realistic uh, number or amount. So for example, it might be something like, I'm going to work out at least 10 minutes, three times a week. All right. So there's a great podcast that you can listen to from Brooke Castillo. She's the one I got this idea from. She talks about this in the podcast and in her book. And then Precision Nutrition also has a great um like I call it a movement dial. So it's looking at movement on a scale of one to 10. And a lot of times, you know, again, when we start working out, we try to aim for like this eight or nine or a 10. And it's just, it's not a good starting point. It doesn't last long term. So it's totally okay to start off at more of like a three or a four. And if we want to do more some weeks, that's great. But at least we know this is something that's realistic that we can implement in pretty much every single week. So it also helps us to start identifying ourselves as somebody that works out, all right? So I just want you to start thinking about for you um, what you want that minimal baseline to be. And again, it might be almost like silly conservative, but that's okay, right? It can be five minutes three times a week um, that you're going to just do something. You're going to do some push-ups and some squats, right? Um, and then, of course, if you want to do more, you can. But really, I don't want you to feel like you know, you're trying to trick yourself. Like I'm going to say five minutes, but then I know I'm going to end up doing more. It's totally okay to just do five minutes, three times a week. Okay. Five minutes, three times a week is better than nothing. And again, it's more about the mental side of it. It's more about you being able to plan something out, stick with that plan and start to, again, kind of shift how you see yourself. I see myself as somebody that works out. Even if it's only five minutes, three times a week, I am somebody that works out. Okay. And then again, over time, you can look at adding to that if you want to. So that's what the minimal baseline is. As we go forward into the second half of the program, I want you to start thinking about how you want to start maybe dabbling in, you know, dabbling in some workouts here and there and creating something that's realistic for yourself. And again, it may be over the summer, may look a little different than it does in the fall or the winter or the spring. Um, but each week you want to start planning that in just like you're planning out your food. Okay. So that's the minimal baseline. Um, take a look at the resources for you in the course. I hope that it helps. I'll talk to you guys soon.